Hey girl, welcome back. Welcome back to the show. Look who we got on the show today, girl. We got Miss Girl, I'm about to say Beyonce Knowles, and that was gonna cancel the whole show. The girl gonna storm up off the out, you know, off of the stage and gonna leave me high and dry. So let me see if I can get that correct, okay? Miss Solange Knowles, okay. Give it up for Miss Solange, girl. She tried her best to look so much different from Beyonce. Uh, the more I look at her, it seems like she, you know, because Beyonce is pretty. And not that she ain't, because she can be pretty too, because she kind of, she look like Beyonce. Beyonce had her moments where they both look alike. She could be just as pretty. I think she go against the pretty. I think that she um, intentionally picks stuff that makes, that's, that's, a, that's against what, the beauty standards. Like, girl, why has she got this blonde wig, this blonde afro on her head like this, girl? I'm so concerned. But it's her hair. It's her head. It ain't my concern. It should not be uh, stressing me out, and it's not. So, we're going to go ahead and pull some cards on Miss Solange and see what's going on with her, girl. Because look at her. She got two different earrings on. It's like well, Solange should be trying to go against the grain. And it's like, who you who you hurting, girl? Who are you hurting with this uh, cotton... Cotton tip wig on, honey. Tell me. This Q-tip wig. Baby, you ain't hurt nobody but yourself. But, you know, she she tries so much, so try her hardest to go against the grain that, you know, it's, it's I mean, it's working for her. It's unique. But then again, it can, sometimes it can be weird. Because at first, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't mesh well with Solange because it's like, girl, you're intentionally trying to get attention and not the good kind. Well, she's still trying to do it. So, either she's still trying to get attention or she's just trying to find herself. And I'm okay with people being authentic and trying to find themselves. Or, if this is her, if she found it, I'm okay with it. Because, girl, I ain't got to wear it. So, I'm going to pull these cards real fast, girl. So, Divine Angels, if you could, please give me the best cards from the deck to describe Miss... What's going on with Miss Solange Knowles? Solange, I'm going to try my best not to call you Beyonce. I'm going to try my best. But every time I see, say Knowles, I'm talking, I'm saying either Beyonce or Tina. Okay? And I know you don't want me to call you neither one of those. Okay? I'm not used to saying the word Solange. Okay? So so bear with me, sis. Okay? Uh, but I'm going to get used to it because I do like you, Solange. I do. Okay? So, let's see. Fine. What's the cards for Solange? Let's see. We can get. There we go. That's a good little bit. That should tell us what's going on with Miss Lunch. Um, all top, when I look at this card, it seems like some type of health issues or matters of the heart. Maybe she got a, a broken heart or a heart girl, heart mummer or a heart condition. I'm, I'm just saying. I just see this little red heart on this little girl chest. And I also see somebody checking her pulse, making sure she's okay. All right, that's a lot. So we got the three. This is a three of swords. So again, that's speaking of a broken heart. You know, there is something, the matter of the heart that is affecting Miss Solange. Oh, it said there's some type of great sadness that will heal with time for her. So whatever it is, it's going to take time to heal. So girl, what type of heart is that? That's usually when, you know, your man done left you, your man that betrayed you, some other betrayed, or it could be family. But when it comes to family, it's real hard to heal that sometimes. You know, you can heal it, but it's, it's right when you think you got over it. Uh, a memory will come back and remind you that you're no longer close to that family that you once loved or probably even still love, even though you got to let them go. But it's like some great sadness that will heal with time for her. It says let go of the past. There's something in the past that's holding her, that's hindering her. It says personal growth that comes from challenges. So all the challenges that she's going through right now, that's, that seems like she is going through something and it's concerning her heart. It's going to make her stronger. It's going to uh, make her be a, you know, a more unique individual. Now, we don't need her more unique, girl. We don't need her more authentic, okay? I just want her to be settled in what she find is Solange. I want her to be happy in that. That's what I want her to be. Now, because cause she is not happy in this blonde wig, in this Afro wig, this blonde Afro wig. She is not happy in it, but she's wearing it, okay? So, everything from, from every Afro wig to every uh, different Mitch Mac earring, from every fight with her sister, it's going to give her some type of strength so that she can become who she really needs to be. Because I think growing up in the shadow of Beyonce... Being a baby, she probably and she definitely get the baby type of attention. Beyonce got the attention. Okay, let's just keep it real. And Beyonce gonna get the attention because Beyonce made. If you look at um, 
Tina Knowles net worth. She worked 20 to 50 million dollars. She didn't get that 50 to 20 million dollars from Solange. I'm sorry. It came from B. So yes, Beyonce gonna be my favorite child. I'm sorry, but that don't mean I don't love my second child or my baby. My baby just whiny. My baby a little different, but I still love her. She a little different, but you know, that don't mean that just because you're not the favorite don't mean you're not loved. Okay, and Solange, girl, she had a matter to the heart, so I don't know where that's coming from, but it says there's some healing misunderstandings. There we go. Bam. She so caught up in her healing process and what she got going on. She probably not hearing people out because I don't think I know Beyonce loves Solange. Jay Z had the love for her, him not to even swing back at her in the in the elevator. Tina, now Tina probably done swallowed in the mouth and popped her and spanked her. You know, Tina done probably spanked her like, a couple of times, and they probably you know like vinegar and water. They probably not as tight as. Beyonce and girl, all you gotta do is go over there to Tina Knowles Instagram and you'll see they're not as tight. Okay, she don't, she she posts Solange once a year. That's on her birthday, and then even when she posts it, then she always say that she's a firecracker or she rough around the edges. She makes sure she let it be known, girl. This it was hard. Okay, for me to post this for you, girl, but I'm posting. But it seems like there's some also some misunderstandings that's been going on that you just misunderstood. You didn't you didn't hear what they said. You didn't understand what they said, and you just went ahead and formed your own opinion and that's causing some misunderstanding no matter how much you try to explain it especially it's from the past you remember it different and so it's time it's hard to argue something that you don't let allow to sweep up on the rug or you ignore it but it says being there for those in need so i don't know if she's going to be in need and that's going to pull her and the family back together because i am seeing that there is something that's making her feel weak with the three of them source energy next we got a renewal it says renewing the past with compassion and forgiveness so good as soon as they it's already arguing and fighting girl i guess they're gonna come to her come to her aid or somebody's aid in the family with this three of sword energy and that's gonna start a new a renewal for her and whoever she having misunderstandings with now it seems like family this seems like a man woman and children here it could be her mother father and her sister her, her siblings it says renewing the past with compassion and forgiveness time to head in a new direction clarity on your life purpose purpose in your heart you know what to do so once you heal your heart girl once you get this three of swords out of your heart you heal these misunderstandings that you finally understand and see people's point of view girl and understand that you just kind of jump to conclusion then girl y'all can come up and have this renewal i don't know after a day of church or what but girl it seems like y'all gonna forgive each other okay and because you're trying to find the purpose of your life and it's like girl did you cut off the wrong people because don't cut off people who actually love you okay but then sometimes you got to cut them off so that you can get right so we'll see which one she's doing but it seems like okay girl right as soon as we get out of the three of swords energy we start have renewal then we got this ten of swords energy again it says the end of a situation that brings relief Okay, so good. So she's going to have some type of heart issues. Matters of the heart, three of swords, energy, feeling betrayed, feeling um, like, you know, a lot of sadness. She's going to forgive some people. Some people probably going to forgive her. And then they're going to have to have this ten of swords situation right here. You're going to have to take the swords out of your back, baby. It says the end of a, a situation that brings relief, sadness, or both. The opportunity for happiness, new happiness. A weight is off your shoulder at this point. The end of an addiction. Now, okay, girl, that could be an addiction, honey. It's a lot of misunderstanding when you high, baby. You was high last time. That's why you misunderstood everything I told you. Okay? Did you put some elixir in your drink, baby? Did you mix your own concoction up? Okay? Because it could be the end of an addiction. That means somebody leaving rehab. Somebody not got the help they need, baby. The six weeks is over. They, they leaving their extended stay or the extended rehab stay or the resort. It says a melodramatic reaction, which means they're going to be very happy to see her. Uh, so has a lunch been in rehab, girl? I don't know. Wise counselor. Okay, so she may be getting out of rehab, girl, and needing to still, girl, you still need to talk to your counselor, your therapist, okay? So it seems like she's going through a lot of spiritual and emotional and mental healing here. And healing, I mean, I'm sorry, healing of the heart. Now, this healing of the heart, you know, like I said, it could be a lot of crying, a lot of sadness, a lot of detoxing. 
detoxing from substance, detoxing from pain, past pains, past trauma, very over the top. But it says, as long as you got some counseling, baby, you forgiving, you learn how to forgive, girl, we probably can release you out of this counseling section, baby, okay? Um, you know, as long as you agree to leave these swords here, don't take those swords with you. Unless you're going to use those swords to, um, to push you forward, to be um, a part of your arsenic, which means to protect you moving forward, to be... Instead of somebody taking the swords and sticking them in your back now, now you're taking the swords and you're using them as a weapon to move forward, to be a better you, to be different. Okay, so with this wise counselor, it says unity with a spiritual-minded community. Okay, honey, she's joining some type of community, maybe coming together with um, like-minded people uh, so she can stay on the right track, baby. So she ain't be jumping on grown men in elevators, baby. I don't know why she felt like a giant that night, but girl, she was looking out. It says, ask the divine for help and trust the answers will come to you. It says, compare traditional methods with new methods to see which one works best for you. So, she's going to go to a therapist, baby, but she probably be going to a um, different type. Of, it's not going to be the traditional kind. It's probably be more of a spiritual. Somebody can teach her spiritual, mental uh, health. Uh, teach her how to stay calm, how to balance out her um, hormones if, if they're out of balance, honey, to be able to heal her heart, to talk about the issues that no longer um, serving her to release those issues, to forgive, girl, it's time for a renewal, forgive your mama, your father, and your sibling. Okay, because as soon as you forgive, you learn how to forgive, we can release you, baby, from this program. You've been in this extended program for a minute because you haven't been able to release. And there was a lot of great sadness here that she needed to uh, heal from. It took a lot of time to do so. It wasn't no overnight type of thing for her. And it said she had to let go a lot of stuff from her past so that she can grow. And it seemed like somebody, I don't know if she's, she's definitely, I'm not definitely girl. I don't know definitely girl. But it seemed like in a hosp, hospital room setting, okay, came, she's like she came in angry, probably came in hurt, probably came in because she was, um, Girl, needing, needing her vitals to be checked. Needing her mental to be checked. But it says re reviewing the past with compassion and forgiveness. It, we got to talk this through. Can we talk through it? Can we get past this? Because it's time for you to heal so that you can go in a new direction, Miss um, Solange. And you need to get clarity on your life purpose. Because in your heart, you know what you need to do. Now, you've been holding this grief in your heart for a long time. you got to release it. So that you can move forward. And then and how to move for, forward, girl? girl? Do you want to go out the door? You want to go back to the real world? You want to go back out there outside? You want to go outside? Okay. In order to go outside, girl, it's going to be an end of a situation for you. Sadness. Okay. We're going to put all that behind you. Not saying that it won't come back for you. It won't come back. But at least you'll have the tools this time to be able to manage it. Okay. You ain't got to snap on nobody in the elevator and try to beat up a grown man, girl, who's a rapper from New York. Okay. So, but it's going to be a lot of weight off her shoulders. No, no more drama, baby. She may even have to hire assistance. But it's going to be the end of an addiction, finally. And end of any type of dramatic reactions, dramatic situations, and dramatic scenes. She probably used to always have, every time you with her, it's going to be a dramatic scene, okay? It ain't just the elevator, girl. It's in the living room, girl, in the, at the restaurants, girl, at her house, girl, at the picnics, at the family reunion. But they say it's going to be the end of that now. She's going to be more calm and um, and a little more spiritually grounded because now she knows she has a purpose in life. And her purpose is not to follow Beyonce, Tina, and Matthew. Shoot. Y'all y'all was wrong for that. That girl need, this the baby. The baby needs some type of attention, okay? Can't give Beyonce all the attention. Now, let's see. Let's get more details on the energy around Solange. Okay, what can we expect from her moving forward? Okay, so it's going to be a will. It's going to definitely be a change for her. Okay, and this card came out. So it's definitely going to be a change for Sister Girl. Let's see. So it says, delays are over, girl. Delays are over. She's coming out of the cave. She's coming out of whatever she's been, girl. Where's she been? Because I haven't seen her. Okay, I have not seen her. I don't know if this Afro wig is recent or old. I don't know. I know she's, her face look a little older right here, but not like bad older. Just like the rest of the pictures I saw her looking young. This is like a grown woman salon. She looked clear. Um, her skin looks good. Girl, eyebrows always stay thick. 
Okay, so she looks good. It's just that she seems like she's an older, mature Solange here. So it says, delays are over. Sudden and or unexpected good luck is going to come her way. A new car or travel. Okay, girl, come on. Bust up out the uh, rehab center with a new car. You get a car, okay? You put in that work. So I, I, but I don't know if the girl's in a rehab or not, but she's coming out of a, a, a healing situation, whether she's healing at home at a rehab, at a resort, whatever it is. She's coming out of it with a clear everything, girl. Clear mind, clear face, clear heart, clear intentions. We got the summer, the Prince of Summer here. It speaks about romantic, captivating, dramatic, and flirtatious. Oh, she's coming outside, outside. For real, for real. So they say she's going to be more flirtatious. It says falling in love suddenly, being swept off her feet. The need to stay grounded during a very emotional experience. So, now, she definitely needs to stay grounded, girl, because you just now left an emotional situation of a lot of sadness. And now you, you're trying to get back outside. That's fine. That's cute. But, girl, whoever this Prince of Summer ear is, okay, seems like she may be meeting somebody in the summer or somebody that, that's going to come around in the summer and going to sweep her off her feet. Now, I thought this girl was married, but then I heard she got a divorce, but then again, then she get married again. Ooh, girl. I can't keep up. But somebody's going to sweep, sweep her off her feet. Speak of a romantic time. Now, it could be a romantic time rekindling something with somebody from the past or somebody that she's been with or, you know, a new romantic life. But it's saying that, you know, she's going to be falling in love suddenly. Could be falling in love with yourself for the first time. Never know. But we got the Four of Springs. This definitely looks like it may be somebody that's coming into her life. It says, be grateful. You have much to celebrate. Deep feelings of peace and happiness, a contentment, a contented personal life. Finally. Okay, so it seems like she is very content, girl. She done went through a lot of spiritual healing, mental healing, heart healing. And it seems like she's in a peaceful place. And she could possibly be, girl, possibly be falling in love with somebody, dating somebody new. Or finally seeing somebody who probably been there for her the whole time. Finally seeing them for the first time. So let's see if we can get some clarity on some of these cards here. Let's find out more about this Three of Swords energy. What do we need to know about this Three of Swords energy for? So much. Okay. So we have the seagull here. It says, now is the time for you. Now is the time for deep emotional healing. So yeah. She was too emotional, wasn't she? Wasn't that girl too emotional? I never seen her cry, but that girl will swing them, swing them things, baby. If she get too emotional, now it's not, girl. Can you? Are you not good with your words or something? Or just so emotional, just so emotional that her emotions take over. And so it says now it's the time for emotion, for deep emotional healing, girl. Not just crying one time, apologizing, and moving on, girl. We gotta dig deep. We gotta find out what it is, something from her past, and from her past has seemed like something from a childhood. It's changing. It's caused a lot of delays in her life. And she's getting past that. She, Girl, she's seeking out counselors. She's seeking out some type of medical assistance and help. She's trying to fly above the haters. Then we got the goose. So she's definitely flying above. It says take time to rest and recuperate rather than continuing to strive. So instead of trying to continue to go on the same path that she was trying to, girl, it says, baby, let the wings take a uh, take a minute, girl. They said put the wings up and walk. So it's, Keep your feet on the ground, because last time your feet was up, you were kicking Jay-Z. So, and I, girl, I ain't trying to break up your past. I'm just saying, girl. Let's just uh, make sure we get past all of this so we can have control of our emotions. Now, I wonder why your emotions was out of control. Was it because there was a substance or because of what? Okay. Let's find out. Why was her emotions so out of control? Let's see which cards were telling me that. Let's see. Let's see if these cards are telling me. Why was Solange's emotions out of control? Why were they so uh, unbalanced, her emotions? Okay. Oh. Uh -huh. Girl, yeah. It was a hormonal imbalance, girl. It was a hormonal imbalance. Period. Okay. They just, it was just, medication was needed. Okay. She needed something to balance out. It says blending the ideas of others with your own to create something extraordinary. Honey, a new prescription. Successful compromise, the power of diversity, self-control, 
and also being a being control of your own emotions so that you can control your own emotions honey you gotta control your own stuff you can't be slapping people and blaming them for the slap girl girl no that's that's no we're not doing that in 2023 okay the people slapping back <laughs> they say they're just as crazy as too so they slapping back okay so it says you need pa patience and balance here so yeah she it was some type of uh, balance emotional balance that she was out of whack of and now she's trying to get balance back on that injustice and then she want justice there was no justice no peace until she started being appreciated and valued like beyonce there would be no justice no peace okay she would not be writing another song on beyonce ballot or anything or be dancing for beyonce if you can't give me my justice okay give me my recognition it says be impartial and objective stand up for what you believe in period okay because if you're gonna call beyonce the golden child then let's see how golden she is without my lyrics to see how golden she is without my dance moves. To see how golden she is without my talent, baby. That she had to pull back. Okay. I ain't mad at you so long. You have to pull back. Because how many times they going to call Beyonce? Go, I mean, go to um, Tina's uh, Instagram. Oh, she just Beyonce this, Beyonce that. And then she'll say, she will say that um, Solange is the most talented one. It's like, girl, you can't lie about that. But it's not, now I don't say Beyonce ain't talented because Beyonce get up and she perform. Now, whatever she got to do behind the scenes to get it, get there, it's fine. But then you can look back at some, um, some of the old videos of Beyonce. You're like, oh, it's not, she messed up right there. Oh, she went. But then, you know, Beyonce it was Beyonce. She did what she did. Okay. She did what she had to do. Um, I like Beyonce. I like, I always like Beyonce performances. I don't have a problem with Beyonce. I say she's talented. Um, I didn't think she was talented until she came out with her own album. She did her own thing and it was so unique. It was so different, but yet it was so deep. It was so, you could, you could, you can definitely, you can relate to it. Even though I don't know what the hell she was saying. Some of them songs like praying to the sky. I don't know whatever she was sexing away and praying away, but I feel like I, I experienced that before. I didn't know exactly what I was trying to pray away and, and work out away and dance away and. I didn't know, but I knew it was something, okay? And so I get it. I get what she was saying, okay? Without getting it, girl. Without getting it, I got it. So it says, be impartial and objective. Stand up for what you believe in. Try to see all sides of the situation. Because I don't think she saw all sides of a situation before. It says, you will win if the position is in one of an integrity. So it says, girl, stand up for what you believe in with your family. No matter if they call you crazy or what. Because regardless of whatever, if you pull it back, okay? And stand up for what you truly believe in. At the end of the day, people are going to see your side of it. Because, especially if you have integrity, girl. But if you're sitting there swinging it up and just emotional, people can't understand you. Okay, so they don't see your point. But when you pull back and you speak rational, they have no choice but to understand. They You, you said you ain't writing for Beyonce no more. They heard that. I bet they heard that. Because Beyonce needs like 102 writers on each song with her renaissance. Okay, so let's move on. Now, let's find out more about, okay, she, so she's going to have a renewal. Um, I'm assuming with family and, and family and friends. I'm, I'm seeing family and kids, family and sisters and siblings. So give me more about this Ten of Swords situation for Solange. What do we need to know about this Ten of Swords situation for Solange? It speaks about the Emperor. Logic. Okay, so she just needs a... Was she very illogical? Was she very, you know, not logical at all? Uh, probably not. You just couldn't. It just seemed like you couldn't just talk nothing. She wasn't understanding. She wasn't seeing your point. She wasn't hearing you. And she'll slap you and walk away, baby. So we got the emperor here. It says logic and organization will increase your success, which means stop being sloppy. Stop being messy. Okay. Be more logical. Take your medication every day. Take charge of your situation. Accept a leadership role, structure, and discipline. So either she was, you know, because her being a baby, they was chasing Beyonce around. They probably didn't give her enough structure or discipline in her life. And they let her run wild. That's how she became unbalanced. But now she's showing up as somebody that's turning her back and walking away from the old her. Um, it's the end of a uh, situation that brings a lot of sadness. She no longer want to be in that energy no more. She's showing up as the emperor. Or she's in the emperor energy. She's thinking more with logic. Okay. Or either the emperor came in and made her think with logic. But it seems like she's getting some wise counsel. She's getting counseling. And she, baby girl going to probably be alright. Let's find out more about this Prince of Summer. Is that a new love coming in or just a love for herself? 
Or is it an old love? Let me know. Okay. So it speaks about being with the six of wands. So it speaks about victory, making wise choices that bring public recognition and success, promotions, awards, and scholarships. So maybe, okay, so maybe she's going to come back out and, you know, and fall back in love with music. Fall back in love with what she does, okay? Because it seems like she's going to have victory as long as she makes better decisions and wise decisions, okay? And it's going to bring public recognition. So she's going to get some type of rewards. Um, they say scholarships, girl. Is she going back to college? But it says she's going to be promoted. And she's going to fall back in love with a craft or something. Her purpose in life. She's looking for her purpose. She's going to fall back in love with something. And it says it's going to be a need for her to stay grounded. Okay. From a very emotional experience. And we definitely need her to stay grounded. Because we know what happens when she gets ungrounded, baby. She starts swinging and kicking and screaming and pouting. Okay. And the tantrum has begun. So that's going to conclude the reading for Miss Solange Knowles. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the next one and I'll talk to you. I'll talk to you later, girl. Bye.